Hi all, you are watching a fragment of the countdown program from March 20th, 2023. Today is Monday, see the full version on Patreon, and thanks to everyone who is becoming our patrons right now. Chinese leader Xi Jinping arrived in Moscow today on an official visit. Comrade Xi thus became the first leader to shake hands with toxic Putin. A warrant for Putin's arrest, issued by the International Criminal Court of The Hague, raised a furious howl in the swamps. After all, what happened? A Kremlin rat has been sprayed with a poison spray and is now toxic and contagious. She, of course, does not recognize this spray and does not believe in the power of the drug but she is already poisoned, and the poison will work, no matter how the whole Kremlin rat brood screeches. At the moment, the poisonous rat is full of strength and energy, it rushes through the cave and through the ruins of the captured Ukrainian cities, snooping around them under the cover of night, but it is already clear to the whole world, its days are numbered, no matter how it imitates bodily health and geopolitical activity, and no matter how it threatens to kill all hated humanity. The animal cursed with poison will weaken every day, because his gang understands that now, while Putin is alive and on the wanted list, one can forget about lifting the sanctions curse. And the irritation of the rat house will only increase, while the fascist bastard itself will wither and freeze even more. By the way, the visitor from the Celestial Empire, who today descended the ladder in Moscow, understands this very well. He did not cancel his visit, demonstrating to the West that he has such a reinforced concrete reputation, that he is not afraid of any political toxicosis. To begin with, the Beijing sage thoughtfully stated that two or two is not necessarily four, and there are no simple solutions to the military conflict in Ukraine. That is, everything is very complicated, and the interests of the aggressor must be respected. Say, you can't just take it and get out of the occupied territories, everything is complicated and ambiguous. We are convinced that a rational way out of the Ukrainian crisis and a path to lasting peace and universal security in the world will be found if everyone is guided by the concept of common, comprehensive, joint and sustainable security, continued dialogue and consultations in an equal, prudent and pragmatic manner, Xi Jinping noted. The cunning panda wants to try on the role of the only peacemaker left in the world. Look, they say, how belligerent the West is, and only I, Fluffy, is able to pacify the warring parties. Meanwhile, advisor to the office of the President of Ukraine Mihailo Podolyak said that the peace plan cannot be based on satisfying the interests of the aggressor, but must begin with the mandatory withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine. The rat ringleader took the pose of the undefeated and declared that he was ready to start peace negotiations with Ukraine but only if Kiev recognized geopolitical realities. It should be noted that all these antics of the criminal are taking place against the backdrop of the upcoming offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine, which promises to be impressive, taking into account the types of weapons that have already been delivered to Ukraine, and continue to go. It seems that only horns and legs will remain from the army of Putin's devils, and the main task of the Kremlin punks now is to squeal as loudly as possible about their readiness for peace negotiations in order to persuade Kiev to make territorial concessions. The West, on the contrary, by all its actions confirms its determination to help Ukraine to the end, in the name of the liberation of all its territories. It is clear that the program of Comrade Xi's visit after the Hague warrant for Putin's arrest could change, and the proposals too. For example, it is possible that the Chinese savior will offer Putin some kind of guarantee that he will step down from power. But will Putin believe him? After all, living under the sword of Damocles is a dubious pleasure. This Hague poison killed Gaddafi after four months. The Kremlin rat commander is sure that he is much more tenacious and able to jump on the sewer as much as he likes. And films about visiting Mariupol with FSO officers as local residents can be shot for a very long time until the sudden Kondrashka lays down her paws to the toxic animal. Become our patrons now and look further in this program. While Medvedev is calling for missiles to bomb the International Criminal Court, the elites around the Kremlin are on the move. Putin demonstrates the steadfastness of his power, while the rat elites fear that they are next in line to the Hague. 
Putin called the sale of gas at a 70% discount to China the deal of the century. Kremlin vassals are licking out comrade's eye in a display of extreme devotion. Putin's entourage is ordered to get rid of iPhones. Enemy smartphones are anathema. It's scary to imagine what will happen to Medvedev's iPhone. Justice ministers from over 40 countries are attending a conference in London to discuss fundraising for the International Criminal Court to investigate Russia's war crimes in Ukraine. And that's all for today. See the full version of the program on the Patreon resource. And thanks to everyone who is becoming our patrons right now. He hugged everyone. Glory to Ukraine.